Amy Young, can you believe it's May already? And here we are at Senior Prom once again. It went by quick. Here we are again at Drexel Brook in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. It seems like just yesterday was the first day of school. All mm -hmm. right. People were looking forward to their new classes, their new teachers. And now we are winding down the school year as we always do with the magnificent Senior Prom here in Drexel Brook. And tonight, like every other night, expecting to see incredible things, handsome young men, beautiful young women, and all kinds of great food and the Sunday bar and great stories about how people got here, all kinds of great interviews, wristlets and shoes and top hats and canes and oh my, it's going to be a great night. Kids were very excited all this week. I know the girls were talking about their dresses and the guys with their shoes and their belts and what they're wearing and what color. So the excitement is in the air and we're excited to be here. Absolutely. We have a lot of interviews coming up tonight. I know a lot of people like Mary Jo Dooling out there in the community. They love to listen to the uh, prom interviews and stuff. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, play a game if you want while you're watching and tune in. It is Senior Prom 2019 live from Drexel Brook Ballroom. All right, here we are. The guests are arriving at Senior Prom, and I am flanked by two of the most upstanding members of the North Penn Senior Class that I know, Jake Drellick to my right and Aiden Sullivan to my left. Jake, why don't you start us off by introducing us to your lovely date and tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to tonight. Uh, my date is Caitlin Penninger. She graduated last year. She's a freshman at Westchester this year. And you know, I'm really looking forward to the dancing. You know, I love the dance. I love to get out there and boogie down. So that's my favorite part. Do you get that from your dad? No, definitely no? not. I heard he dances in the streets of Tom Enson. <laughs> oh, no, you heard wrong. I don't know about that. <laughs> Caitlin, you um, have a unique uh, hobby, or not hobby, it's really like more of your devoted life profession, right? Yeah. Tell us a little about what you do when you're not in classes and becoming a student. Um, I full-time figure skated in high school. Unfortunately, I don't anymore. I'm focusing on school at Westchester, so. Has Jake ever taken you to the Fisher's Ice Rink? Uh, no. No? Not you know? yet. It didn't freeze this year. I couldn't. Do, do you know what Jake skates on? Sneakers. How do you think? How do you feel about that? Not good. Not no. good at all. <laughs> all right. Let's go over to my left with Mr. Aiden Sullivan. Aiden, tell us who your lovely date is and tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to tonight. Uh, this is Brooke Millivoy. Uh, she's a senior at North Penn High School and she plays lacrosse and she's going to Westchester to major in education next year. All right, and how about yourself, Aiden? What do you have coming up next year? Uh, I'm going to St. Joe's for business next year and looking forward to uh, a lot of great things. All right, Brooke, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Tonight, yep. I'm looking forward to just dancing and having fun with my friends. Do you think that Aiden can dance? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I think tonight's the night that we find out new things about this guy. All right, you want to say hello to your parents or anything? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Wow. My, mom, my mom's probably going to be watching this at some point. So. Your mom is going to be sitting down with popcorn watching oh, yeah, this, I can guarantee sure. In fact, you know where we are tonight? No. Delco, baby! Oh, Your yeah. mom's from Delco. Yeah, she is. Yes. She knows this place well. Absolutely. Roll out the porch carpet and say hello. All right. You want to say anything about your Christmas lights? Yo, you got to come see it. It's from Black Friday to the beginning of January. 35,000. Come on out, push some buttons. All right, everybody. Have a great time tonight. Enjoy yourselves. We'll see you back on the ball field on Monday. Next interview coming up soon. In the meantime, enjoy some scenes from the senior prom. So back in the day, I used to conduct these interviews with a co-anchor, a co-host, if you will. But you know, then Amy was like, "I just want to go do my own thing," because that's kind of how she is. So this is what here we are. This is Amy Young, Kyle Berger. They are going to be going around uh, Drexelbrook tonight, showing us all the things that are happening around the prom. So there are roving reporters. So why don't you guys rove? We are currently with two of my favorite students of all time, Isabella and Tyler. Tell me what you're most excited about for tonight, Tyler. Well, I guess I'm just most excited for the experience, that's all. I think that's a great answer, right? You only have one senior prom where you're a senior, correct? Isabella, what are you most excited about? The dancing. 
The dancing. What about dinner and ice cream and all that good stuff, huh? Okay, so how did you guys get here tonight? Uh, my parents just dropped me off. Nice, nice. I saw your parents there. Great. So have a great time tonight. I'm super excited for both of you and take lots of pictures, okay? All right, have fun. Our first limo of students arriving at the senior prom. Welcome to your senior prom, everybody. Come on out. How many of you guys are in there? Ten. Ten students. There we go. One, two, three. Go ahead, right on in. You can log in. Four, five. Come on out. We got six. They keep coming out of this limo. Seven. Hello. Welcome to the senior prom. Eight. Come on out. Nine. Is there? Are there more in there? Are you the last one? Oh my gosh, how was your ride here? It was good. It was good? It was good. Are you excited about your prom? I'm very excited about my prom. What's the most thing you're excited about? Yeah. About prom? Yeah. Probably just get to hang out with my friends for another four hours. There you go. Enjoy it, guys. You're the first group here. Have fun. All right, here we are. I have four more fantastic looking people here tonight. We're going to ha have a little discussion here, find out who they are. And we have one person in this group that is not from North Penn, so we're going to get that story in a second. So let's start tomorrow. Right, tell us who you are and tell us who your date is and look what you're looking forward to most tonight. So uh, my name is Jude Adam, and my date here is Eva Steele. Uh, I got to say, the number one thing I'm looking forward to tonight is probably the chicken, I have to say. What kind of chicken are you expecting on your plate tonight? I've heard a lot of good things from last year, but I've also mm -hmm. heard some other things, so I'm really looking to see. All right, well, there's chicken and all kinds of other things. Don't forget that Sunday bar. Right? I definitely won't. Introduce yeah. us to your beautiful date. So this is Eva Steele. Um, we basically met in like English and French through one of our friends. Who's Andrew? your English teacher? Mr. Gillespie. Ah, the great Mr. Gillespie. What TV show was Mr. Gillespie on? Uh, Jeopardy. <laughs> Jeopardy, and that's he right. Lost. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Not like that guy that's been winning all those millions of dollars exactly. now. Exactly. Tell us a little bit about what you are looking forward to most tonight. You know what? I think the Sunday bar, I've heard a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. And so it better be up to my expectations. That's all I have to say. Oh, it will be. Don't okay. you worry about that. All right, over here to my left. We have an interesting couple because we have a North Penn student and what they call a guest. So tell us who you are and tell us who this guy is. Hi, I'm Courtney Savannas, and this is my date, Tommy Scott. He's from Cheltenham High School. Now, Courtney, how do you end up bringing a Cheltenham guy to North Penn Prom? <laughs> we met through my outside orchestra, and we became okay. really good friends. What and, do you uh, play in the orchestra? I play viola, and he plays French horn. Ah, viola and French horn, very right. musical. <laughs> uh, what color blue is that? Um, see, that's hard to define. I put it, I like to put it as like, like a dulled navy. You okay, know? I think it's actually maybe called Postman Blue. <laughs> In fact, I know a postman who's watching tonight. His name is Jim Rittenhouse. Look at that. He's the disgruntled postal worker type. <laughs> so this is North Penn's prom. Have you right. been to Cheltenham prom yet? Not yet. It's, uh, I think it's May 29th. All right, well, when you go to that one, I want you to think about this one. <laughs> right, right, right. All right, what are you guys doing next year? Next year, I'll be attending Temple University with a double major in accounting and finance. Accounting and finance, and what about the music? I might pursue a certificate in music performance. I'm not really sure as of now. Okay, next year? Um, I'm going to American University, right. and I plan on doing political science. Oh, very so. good. The election's coming up. Right, I know. Right, good. Great time to be in D.C. Absolutely. for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing next year? Uh, I'm going to be studying engineering at Purdue University. Boiler up. Go, oh, Boilermakers. All right. And I'm going to UPIT for Neuroscience and International Relations and Area Studies. Wow, that's a lot of great stuff happening here with just these four people. So in the meantime, though, let's not worry about next year. Let's just enjoy what you have left of this year. Enjoy your time tonight. Have a good time here to see your prom. Thank you. Well, it's not quite the Partridge family bus, but there is a bus outside and there are 19 kids coming out of it. It's a party bus. It's a popular way to arrive at the prom. Let's go see what Amy is doing at the party bus. All right, so we have our first party bus showing up. We're coming on. Hey, everybody. Welcome to your prom. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Oh, it's Billy. Hey, Billy. Um, welcome to the prom, everybody. You got here at a perfect time because it's starting to rain, so we'll get you inside fast. How many of you guys are on this bus? 19. 19. How was the ride here? 
Lovely. Okay. Well, come on in. Who's out first? All right, here we are again. I have four more fabulous people here tonight. Let's go from my left and then we'll go over to the right. Tell us who you are and tell us who your beautiful date is. Uh, I'm Ryan, this is Molina. All right, and uh, how did you guys get here tonight? Uh, in a car. A car? Yep. Like a regular car? Like what kind of car? Regular car, my Ultima. An Ultima? Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. You guys have the green going on tonight. Yep, All right. The green. When you picked up your date tonight, yep. what did you first say in your mind when you first saw her when you went in? <laughs> she looks amazing. She does look amazing. Why don't uh -huh. you tell us a little bit about her? Uh, she's great. She's in theater. Uh, she does NPTV. She's, great. She does a whole lot. She's she's great. So theater, big production just got yeah. wrapped up. Mamma Mia. Tell us about Mamma Mia. Uh, Mamma Mia was awesome. I love the music. The cast was amazing. It was a great way to end out my senior year. All right. Now, yeah. we don't often talk about this kind of thing here at the prom show, but <laughs> I noticed you have a tattoo. I do, Is there yes. a story behind it? Yes, so me and my mom got the same tattoo. It's for Girl Scouts. We wanted okay. to do something with a green in it for the green for Girl Scouts because I've been a Girl Scout for over 12 years what now. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Thin Mint, for sure. Of course, and the yeah. green, obviously. Yeah, it goes mint. with yeah. it, yeah. All right, introduce us to yourself and your lovely date. All right, uh, I'm Andrew, and this is Sharon. Uh, yeah. Andrew and Sharon, how did you guys uh, get together? How did you meet? How did you come to be dates tonight? We, we met through orchestra, yeah. Very common theme, you know, the music stuff. Um, Sharon, tell us what you're looking forward to most tonight. The food. That's what everybody says, the food. What did you order for your dinner? Uh, the chicken one. Of course the chicken, right? Um, what do you guys have going on for next year after you graduate? I'm going to be attending Columbia University in the city of New York. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful campus, inspiring yeah. campus. What are you going to major in there? I'm going to major in either philosophy, linguistics, or economics. Okay. Um, I'm going to Westchester, and I'm going to do a double major in violin performance and music education. Wow. All right. I tell you, there are people in North Penn that are going places. How about you guys for next year? Uh, I'm going to Widener for mechanical engineering. Great. Widener is not that far from here. Nice. And? I'm going to American University in D.C., and I'll be doing Spanish and international relations. We just talked to somebody who's going to American <laughs> University. That's really? Who came Absolutely. through here? Political science major. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, listen, as I always say, next year is great, but this year's not over yet. You guys yeah. have reflections, graduation, and, of course, the prom tonight. So have a great time all night long. They say the senior prom should be lit. Well, actually, at Drexelbrook, it kind of was lit a couple years ago. There was a little bit of a fire here, and they did a great job of renovating this place. In fact, the vast ballroom is remodeled. It's amazing. we got to take a look at it. Let's go check out the ballroom with Amy Young. I'm coming to you from the Drexelbrook ballroom, uh, pre-prom and the kids getting here. So you have to think, what does it take to throw a prom for a thousand people? Well, as you can see from the new room, and it's newly renovated, um, 85 tables, they are getting the room ready for when the kids get here. New dance floor, uh, new tables, new chairs, new carpeting has all been put into the ballroom since we've been here last year for the senior prom. So as you can see, this is the manpower that it takes to throw a prom of this size. The room goes on, and that's just one side. And then we have a full other room that's got the same thing, and then an ice cream tent. So planning a prom for a 1,000 kids is no small feat. So shout out to Margaret Marino and John Fluck for a fantastic night. All right, everybody, the night is going on here at the senior prom. The room is filling up. There's a lot of buzz in the air, and we have two more wonderful-looking couples here. So why don't you start by introducing yourself and then tell us who your lovely date is standing to your right. I'm Brandon Marquise, and my date is Haley Muth. Now, do you know that Haley Muth had a great English teacher last year? I did. Did you know that for real, or are you yep. just saying that? I'm just saying okay. that. <laughs> it's obvious, right? Haley, tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to most tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to the ice cream and to spending time with my friends. Okay, good, good. Yeah. And how did you guys get here tonight? We drove. What did you drive? Mercedes-Benz. Whoa, okay, okay, I see you. All right, over here, introduce us to yourself and your lovely date, who we're going to talk about a little bit more because I know her very well. Uh, my name is David Cheka, and my date is Marissa Werner. Do you know that Marissa is very famous? 
Of course. Very Why is she famous? famous? For her knee, maybe. Well, I was not actually going to say that. I was going <laughs> to say for her contributions to the Night Crier. <laughs> That's nightcrier.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Marissa. Yes. You look stunning tonight. Thank you. You both have beautiful floral arrangements. Like, look at that. Did you guys pick out the flowers yourselves? Um, we had a friend. You had a friend? You should have said, yeah, I picked them out of my neighbor's yard. That would have made for a good interview. Um, Marissa, what are you looking forward to tonight? Uh, dancing with my friends and having a good time. All right, now let's go right down the line, starting with you, Haley. Tell us what you're doing next year. Um, I'm going to Susquehanna University and majoring in secondary Spanish education. Oh, that means you can come back and be my colleague in a si. few years. Si, si, senorita. Si. I'm going to Penn State Abington to later join the main campus in two years after that, and I'm majoring in engineering. Fantastic. Penn State, great engineering program, of yeah. course. Uh, I'm going to Penn State main campus to study maybe engineering or maybe something else. You know that State College is like one of my favorite places on the earth? It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, it's an awesome place. Yeah. And Marissa? Um, I'm going to Moravian College and studying athletic training. All right, Moravian in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yes. All right. Well, look, you guys have a great time tonight. You all clean up. You clean up better than Mrs. Garrett. You don't even know who she is, but you guys look great. Have a great time tonight. Tonight, we have special things here at the prom. One of those special things is these red beverages, okay? They are great. They have a secret name. All right, so why don't you guys tell us what you're drinking tonight? Uh, this <laughs> What is it? It's, uh, Pete. Pete's Punch. Pete's Punch. You couldn't remember Pete's no. Punch? Okay, do you know what's in Pete's Punch? I have no idea, no. but it tastes good. Okay, I think it's Sprite and Grenadine. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. no booze, of course. Okay, um, you guys don't have drinks. No, no, we haven't gotten drinks yet. That's a shame. All right, listen. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pass the mic right down the line. You're gonna tell us who you are. You're gonna tell us why you're looking forward to tonight so much, and then tell us what you're doing next year. Okay, go for it. All right, I'm Jack Peters. I shout am looking forward. Shout out to Evan Peters. Yeah, shout out to the Evan other Peters. favorite Peters. <laughs> I am looking forward to all the dancing we're gonna do later tonight. Next year, I'm probably going to be doing nothing right now. Nothing? Nothing. Just like laying in bed doing nothing? Yeah, pretty much. All right, that sounds like a good life. Um, that's what Mr. Klaus does all summer in his swimming pool in his backyard. All right, pass it to Brendan. I'm Brendan Vandevin. Uh, I cannot wait for this night. It's going to be once in a lifetime. And next year, I'm going to Penn State Abington to major in biology. Brendan, what's your favorite class? Uh, public speaking with Mr. Monero, definitely. Absolutely. And, and it's a great class because it teaches you to do what you're doing right now. Yeah, which speak is in public. Speak in the public. Everyone That's should take this class. If you're a junior uh, or sophomore, uh, sign up yeah. next year. Freshman, anyone, everybody should sign up for this class. I just heard angels singing. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, to my left. Hi, I'm Shayana, and I'm going to enjoy some nice dancing and some Pete's Punch. And I'm looking, going to be doing... Uh, another great year at North Penn. I see you have a nice like gold ensemble in your dress tonight. Yeah. Nothing like a golden girl at the prom. Make sure you tell your date before the night is over. Thank you for being a friend, right? Go ahead. Uh, my name is Joe Michael. The thing I'm most excited for tonight is probably dancing with my beautiful girlfriend. Wow, and that's very well said. Next year I'm going to Kutztown University and studying environmental science and bio. All right, I'll tell you what, this is a great group. They look like they're about to go have some fun, so I'm not oh, going to yeah. hold you guys back. Enjoy your time tonight to see your prom. We will. All this talking makes us all a little parched a little verklempt, if you will. But the great thing is, there are signature drinks at the prom, and right now, Amy Young is sampling some of those drinks. Let's take a look. I'm currently standing at one of the stations where the kids can come and get drinks throughout the night, and every year, in addition to the standard sodas, the senior class will choose two signature drinks, and this year, their signature drinks are Pete's Punch, in honor of our principal, Mr. Nicholson, and Scott on the Rocks, in honor of our assistant principal, Miss Scott, who is one of the class principals, and this evening's theme is a night to remember here at the Senior Palm, so I'm thinking it's going to be a night to remember, so... We 
just opened the doors here to the Drexel Book Brawl Room, and as you can see, students are all coming in. They're finding their tables. Like I said earlier, we have 85 tables here tonight. So when the students come in, they'll find their table, they'll sit down, and they are waiting for dinner. All right, my inferiority complex kicks in when I stand next to somebody who's like six foot 100, so I'm just going to ignore that for right now. Why don't you guys tell us who you are and tell us what you're looking forward to most tonight? Uh, I'm Will Hughes, and uh, I'm Chris Avril. I'm looking forward to the ice cream bar. That's what everybody says. Will? Uh, I'm just looking forward to having a good time with everyone. All right, Will, you traded your hockey skates in tonight for your tux? Yeah. It's a good look, man. I like the blue and the gold. All Thank right? you. And, and also the gold there, another golden yeah. girl. Um, what are you guys uh, looking forward to as the, as the school year winds down here at the end of the year? Um, I mean, just having a good time meeting more people and just uh, making memories. Okay. Uh, going to the beach, having fun the rest of school year graduation. When are you going to the beach? After. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. No, not today. He's oh, after school. Oh, uh, I'm at after school. Which beach do you go to? Ocean City. Okay. All right. Where'd you get your dress? Davis Bridal. Davis Bridal. Very good. You're actually the first person I asked that question to tonight. Mrs. Really? Selma Robinson would be very disappointed <laughs> with me because she always asks that question. All right. Um, how about next year? What do you guys have going on for next year? Uh, I'm going to York College. York, PA. Home of the yeah. York Paper Mill. Yes. <laughs> you know what they have in York? It's very unique. They have a big traffic circle in the middle of town, and it's really fun to just drive around and never know when to get out of the circle. Yeah, I haven't been to that part yet. Well, you'll find it when you get there. Will, how about you? I uh, do a Monco two years. Very good. Hey, do you yeah. have any ice hockey at Monco? Uh, no, I'm no. not playing ice hockey after. You can play for fun as yeah, you get older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I want you guys to have a great time tonight. Enjoy it. Make Thank some you, good Mr. memories, Manero. and uh, we'll see you around the dance floor. Thank All right. You. All right. Thank you. come in all different heights and sizes and uh, we have two famous tall people in North Penn by the name of Christopher Fry although some people call him Frey and John Fluck and they are with Amy Young right now let's go see what they're up to I feel like we were just here this time last year together <laughs> guys it's the same picture right, yeah. we are with Mr. Fluck senior class advisor Mr. Fry sophomore class <laughs> advisor Miss Young junior class <laughs> advisor the three amigos what are you guys excited about tonight uh, I mean, the kids all look great. It's just to see them uh, take it. It's, you know, the beginning of the end of senior year for them all to get so dressed up, put so much effort in. They all look fantastic. I agree. Mr. Flock? Uh, it's great to see the whole class here. Mrs. Marino and I are just so happy to see this class graduating soon and see them all dressed up here. I love it. I have to agree. This is like the highlight when you advise. Yeah, this, this is, is like the big activity besides graduation. So it's one of the nights that we look forward to every year. Thanks, guys. All right, we got a lot of bright colors going on here, and we have some very bright personalities as well. Um, some people I know quite well, so we're going to actually just have them introduce themselves, and I will follow up with a million questions. Okay, so let's start all the way over here. And we're going to go right down the line. We're going to say your name, and you're going to say one thing that you're looking forward to most tonight at the senior prom. Okay. I'm Caroline, and I'm looking forward to dancing the most. I'm Julian White, and I'm most looking forward to dancing with my man, Mr. Monero, right here. All right. That's probably not going to happen, Julian, but we can at least spend some time here together of right course, now. Of course, of course, of course. I'm Charlie Marcher, and I'm looking forward to uh, hanging out with the boys after prom. Charlie, what's your actual name, your first name? Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Brucey. Like the, like the boss, Bruce Springsteen. Yes, sir. My name's Aaliyah, and I'm looking forward to dancing. All right, Aaliyah, tell us what you like most outside of school, outside the classroom. I play softball. Yes, you do, and you're pretty good, right? I guess. And so is your squad, right? Yeah. All right, you guys are playing for uh, the playoffs are coming up, so uh, tell us a little bit about what you're excited about for the end of the year besides softball. Um, I don't know, graduation. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe a little shout-out to your brothers? Oh, yeah. Shout out Kadar and Kaden. All right. Kaden, a upcoming young player in our baseball system, and Kadar at St. Joe's University. Yeah. All right. All right, Big Bruce, you're only a junior, so, you know, you're a lucky man. Tell us how honored you are to be here as a junior. Um, I'm ready to party. 
So I said, tell us how honored you are to be oh, here as a junior. I feel uh, very honored to go with Aaliyah because she's a very pretty girl and she um, is ready to spend a good night dancing. Good. All right, Julian, yes, can I see those for a second, yes, please? Sure can, I just want to see what the world looks like through your eyes. You Julian, you are a football player here for the North Penn High yes, football sir. team, right? That coach Dick Beck, yes, who I noticed is not here tonight, yeah, by the way. Right. So tell us where you're going to go play next year. I'm going to Bloomsburg University to play football. All right, Bloomsburg Huskies. That's right. In fact, the Bloomsburg Huskies just advanced to the PSAC baseball championship yeah, I today. That, yeah, they did. You peeped that? I peeped that. I for those of you that. in the I listening audience that. that don't know what that means, when kids say, I peeped that, it means they saw that. I okay? Saw that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Next year. I'm going to West Virginia. West. Oh, West Virginia. I think we have a football player in West Virginia, don't we? Yes, we do. Who's that? Ricky Johns. That's right. That's right. Do you know Ricky Johns? Her card of him. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, listen. Next year's all good and well. All right, we got a lot of things going on tonight first. All right, you guys all look like a million bucks. I want to keep these sunglasses on for a little while because the future is so bright. That's right, that's right. But I got to wear shades. We got a bunch of people coming. Let's go check out what's happening at the entrance to the senior prom. So this is the check-in area when students come in. You can see we have multiple places for them to check in. And then as they come in, they'll come up to a table. They present their IDs. We scan them in to confirm that they are checked in. And off into the dance they go. There's a receiving line that will go up to soon. And this is where the students enter the dance. And it goes pretty quickly since we have a system down pad at this point that really works and here are five lovely ladies who are checking the kids in this year. All right, I have three lovely ladies around me here. And as you know, three's company, okay? So I'm gonna just join in the company here and we're gonna go right down the line. They're gonna tell us who they are and then we'll have a lot of questions for them. I'm Ava. Ava, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, the dance floor. <laughs> the dance floor, okay, very good. And? I'm Journey. Journey Jackson, living proof of alliteration, right? Yeah. <laughs> Journey, what are you looking forward to most tonight? The ice cream bar. The ice cream bar, a very popular fe uh, feature. I'm Megan. Um, and Megan, what's your last name? Poli. Megan Poli, who's your favorite teacher of all time? Mrs. Poli. <laughs> Excuse me? You Let's know. try that again. Your favorite teacher of all time? Mr. Monero. Thank you very much. Okay. It's just weird how they don't get that the first time. <laughs> Megan, what are you uh, looking forward to as we round out the year here at the end of the school year? Uh, as we round out the year, probably graduation. Big night graduation coming up in just a few weeks. Uh, how about you, Journey? I'm looking forward to graduation too. Excellent. And? Definitely graduation. All right, I'm everybody, of being here. Everybody wants to graduate. Why are you guys in such a rush? Someday you'll <laughs> wish you were still here. Um, Journey, you are a prolific writer. Okay, tell us about your writing career at North Penn. Um, I write for the Night Crier, and this year has been my first year on the staff, and I'm actually going to be writing an article about prom tonight, so look out for it. All right, outstanding. Why don't you guys all tell us where you got your dresses, too? Where I got my dress? Yep. Macy's. Great place. <laughs> they have lots of great stuff there at Macy's. Yep. I got mine from Country Bride. Country Bride and Jen, located on Summitown Pike in the heart of the North Penn School District. I got mine at Nordstrom. Nordstrom, all right, a lot of variety here. All right, well look, I'm gonna let you guys go because the dance floor is heating up, so you wanna get out there and have some fun. Have a good time tonight. the president coming up for an interview. The president, that's right, Billy Wormuth. President Wormuth, let's go check out that interview. I am currently with Billy Wormuth, Student Government Association president, and? Hi, I'm Kevin Snow. I'm <laughs> Kevin Snow. I think sometimes they don't realize what it's like to be interviewed sometimes. Now it's a little awkward for some of the kids, but that's okay. I don't know Billy to be very shy. So, Billy, what are you most excited about tonight at the prom? Um, everything. Like, for example? The dancing. The food. Dancing, food. I mean, it doesn't take much to make teenagers happy. happy. Good music, food, and ice cream. It's pretty simple. Tell us about this 19-passenger passenger van that you guys came here in. Uh, it was like a bus, 
and there was nine people on it. Did you guys meet all up at somebody's house or? Trinity Lutheran Church where we took pictures. Okay, so everybody met with all your parents and family, so there had to be probably 50 people at this, at Trinity Lutheran. Pictures. Did you feel like you guys were like somewhat celebrity? Yes. Sure. Right? I mean, well, think about it. The only other time that many people are going to take pictures of you guys is at your wedding. Exactly. So enjoy it now at your senior prom. So um, what are the plans for after prom? We're going to someone's house. I like it. And tomorrow's Mother's Day. So we're going to all be celebrating our mothers tomorrow, right, and having a good day. And uh, have fun at the prom tonight. All right, we have a lot of smiles here tonight. Uh, Smiley Snively over here is going to start us off. So Tyler, why don't you introduce us to yourself and your lovely date? I'm Tyler, and this is Parker Schultz. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you thought when you first saw her tonight? I was speechless. I thought she looked amazing. And that's kind of rare for you to be speechless. <laughs> yes, it is very rare. <laughs> tell, us, tell us a little bit about the prom and uh, what you're looking forward to most tonight. Breaking it down with my fam. <laughs> Breaking it down with my fam. Okay. <laughs> So I think what that means is dancing, dancing with, with my, my friends. friends. Okay, <laughs> maybe we can have like subtitles underneath for prominence. What's that tattoo I saw on your arm? It's peanut butter. Why? Because my family's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so we all got like a part of it. Why is your family a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Because. It doesn't make any sense. You need to explain that. Because I'm peanut butter and my sister's jelly. And my parents are like the bread. Okay. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> why not a why not like a pastrami sandwich or something? You know, I don't Maybe know. Maybe a soup sandwich. No? Yeah, you know, okay. a soup would be that sounds good. Yeah, what are you doing next year? I'm going to Towson University. Oh, Towson in Maryland, okay. Tyler Snively, what are you doing next year? I'm going to Westchester University. Very good. All right, let's go to my left. Tell us who you are and your lovely date. All right, I'm Tyler Hall, and this is Caroline Dunnigan. All right, Tyler Hall, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I uh, swim, and I'm going to Westchester next year. All right, fantastic. Now, I want you to step on the outside. I want Carolyn Dunnigan to come in here because Carolyn Dunnigan is our first interview guest that I know for sure lives in the West Ward. The West Ward. Shout out to my mom and her friends watching right now. Yes. All right. The Dunnigan family, Dunnigan. huge fans of the prom show. All right. Who is the governess of the West Ward? Do you know? Or we might call this person the president of the West Ward or the mayor of the West Ward. Do you know who I'm talking about? Do not. You don't know who I'm talking about? <laughs> Do you guys know who the unofficial governor of Lansdale is? No. No, no, a wall. Are you kidding? Van Hartranf. No, no, it's <laughs> Selma Robinson. Oh, well, you could have said that. I did. I told you to say that. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. How's your brother's doing? My brother. I have one brother. How's he doing? He's younger than me, so I he's know still he at North Penn. Is he still playing baseball in the youth league? He here? actually quit. He quit baseball. I'm very sorry. Let to me guess. Tell Let you. me guess. He's swimming. He is swimming. Yeah, it's yes. in the blood. How about your cousins? Ah, I mean, uh, they're good. Andrew just. Uh, got done his first year at Temple. Yep. Good. And Kevin? Kevin is working his job. Good. <laughs> so right. that's good, yeah. All right, the big Dunnigan family, they're all over the place, and you guys look great tonight. I want you to have a great time tonight, enjoy everything, Thank and you. we'll see you on the dance floor. Thank you. All right. another wonderful couple here tonight and and a really nice flower arrangement we'll talk about that in a second tell us who you are and introduce us to your lovely day well this is veronica late yep most but she's never late she's always on time uh, eh, sometimes okay <laughs> i'm mikey mikey you have a last name the stoli is that italian yeah real italian very nice very nice <laughs> mikey when you picked up veronica tonight yeah and you saw her for the first time yeah. what did you think like this I was like, wow. Speechless, I guess. No, right? it's, speechless isn't even the word. Did you pick up these flowers yourself? No. They're very nice. There's sunflowers in I there. I did not. Did you take the seeds out so I can give them to my baseball team so they can spit them all over the floor? Yeah. 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 All right, can you guys switch? I want to talk to Veronica a little bit. I'm done with you, Mikey. Veronica, one of my favorite students of all time. Yeah, all right, I'll and try. of course, and your brother was also one of my favorite students. So, yeah. Veronica, tell us what you're looking forward to about the prom tonight. I'm um, looking forward to dancing because I like dancing. 
Looking forward to dancing because I like dancing. That's a very good answer. All right, what are you doing next year, Veronica? I'm going to NYU. NYU? Yeah. That's big time. Yeah. What are you going to major in? Uh, I'm kind of doing like a weird individualized major, and it's bio and dance. Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. And Veronica, it wouldn't be an interview with you if I didn't ask about my favorite thing. Right. All right. How's the restaurant? It's doing great. Want to tell us where uh, I'm talking about? He's talking about in the Braza and Iron Abbey. It's in Horsham. Yes, and if you ever want to eat a lot of meat, get the meat sweats. You know, a little bacon wrap That's filet. That's so gross. That's the way to go. All right. Have a great time tonight, guys. Thanks. If it's free, it's for me. And right now we have somebody outside who managed to find his way to the senior prom through a contest for free. Let's go find out about that. I am with our next group of students who have arrived at the prom and we're going for the spring look. I like the dresses, the flowers, navy blue is in. Why don't you guys tell us what you're most looking forward to tonight? Dancing. Dancing. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, the dance for I'm really excited. And the, and the dinner. Okay, what about you? Ice cream bar. So listen, if you couldn't tell already, everybody at home, the boys are very much into this ice cream bar tonight. It seems to be the number one answer with the guys. Back row, what about you guys? What are you, oh, what are you God. Looking to? I'm going to say dancing, too. Dancing. The food. Food, of course. Probably seeing all my friends. Well, it is exciting in the ballroom. We've been in there already tonight. Lots of kids are here already. How did you guys get here? Bus. Bus. A little bus. bus. I love it. How many people? Six. Yeah, just us. Right. I like that actually. Six good friends hanging out at a party bus. So Kieran here won senior prom tickets because she and her friend created the best Disney video when we went on our class trip. Exciting. Anything you want to share about that? I'm just really glad we won. I was, wasn't expecting it. <laughs> we had like 10 uh, entrants, so you guys were the winning one. All right, guys, have fun. Enjoy your prom, and we'll see you inside. All right, this is my man, Min Shin Rin Tin Tin. All right, a student who is such a great student that I had him twice for two different classes. All right, so Min, Hello. before we start talking about you, because nobody really wants to know about you, they always want to know about your date, obviously. Can you introduce us, please, to your lovely date? You don't need to take the mic, man. That's not how it works around here. <laughs> Hello, this is Holly Gardner, and she's cool. She's going to Ole Miss, and Ole Miss, yeah. really? Oh, right. Toddy, Toddy. Can you what? Do you, what do you know about the South? Not much. Can you come a little closer yeah. to the microphone, please? Um, I'll figure uh, it out when I get there. What to, what's taking you to Ole Miss? I'm doing elementary education, and I got into a really good program. So. Okay, I see Min's getting very comfortable yeah. putting his hand on my shoulder. <laughs> All right, me and, Min and I, you know, we're like, like two friends. peas in a pot, right? Um, what are you looking forward to most about the prom tonight? I don't know. I like dancing. The T site to dance, listen to good music. Okay. Yeah. Um, but let me just back up for a second. So you're majoring in elementary ed. Yeah. But you could do that anywhere. So why Ole Miss? Um, I got a scholarship there, so it made it worthwhile for me totally to do it. Totally worthwhile. And I get job placement right afterwards. Do you know what Ole Miss what? also has? What? They got a great baseball program they down do. there. So make sure you go watch those Crazy. baseball games. I like your flowers, too. Thank you. Did Min get those for you? He did. Yeah. Where'd you get them? Your neighbor's front yard? Yes, I did. I puffed them. Where'd you get your dress? I got it at Country Bride and Gent. Great place over there in the North Penn School District. Min, how about your tux? Want to tell us about your ensemble here? Um, so I was going to rent my tux, but it was too expensive, so I decided to buy my own. Whoa, was, whoa, biggest shot. Whoa. But it was cheaper than renting, okay. so I got it. Yeah. Well, you guys both look great tonight. Thank Min, you. what are you doing next year? Next year, I'm going to probably going to Clemson. Clemson? Yes. Wow, you guys are going far away. I know. All right, well, maybe we'll see you around the holidays or something. Yeah. All right, have a I'll great time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. about 
the senior prom is every year kids arrive in different things. So party buses are not the popular item this year, apparently. But pulling up in a Maserati is. So this young man and an amazing car. I mean, that is how to come to the senior prom in style. All right, we have a very, like they say chivalry is dead, right? Did you ever hear that? Well, look, chivalry is not dead because look, a date holding up the dress so that it doesn't drag on the front. That is what you call first class. All right, introduce us to yourself and your beautiful date. Hi, uh, my name is Brandon Kennedy, and this is my date, Malaya. Well, actually, I'm her date, actually. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Malaya Goodman. So, Mr. Kennedy, you pick her up tonight, she's all shiny and looking great. What'd you think when you first saw her? She's beautiful, like, so gorgeous. Like, walking down the steps, I was like, dang. Yes. Like, <laughs> Where did you get that beautiful dress? Um, I think I got it from a website called JJ's House. Okay, how did you find out of that? Um, I was just looking for dresses that are like my size, because you know, I'm small, I'm short. So I was like, let me just look on the internet for like 12 hours, and I finally found okay. it. Hey. And they let me custom make it and everything, and it, it turned out beautiful. I was so happy. Well, it looks like a million bucks. Thank you. And, and here we have the black and gold look, which yeah. is classic. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Just having a good time, you know, just a special night with me and my girlfriend. So, Absolutely. Yeah. How about you? I'm looking forward to the chicken. The chicken? Okay. <laughs> I'm it's, hungry. It's, it is like the most popular answer tonight. Yes. I also could eat a little chicken right now. Mm -hmm, um, what definitely. are you doing next year after you graduate from North Penn? I'm going to Penn State Abington and I'm studying psychological and social sciences. Outstanding. Are you a senior or a junior? I actually graduated last year. Oh, you year. graduated? That's yeah. why you did graduate. I'm get class. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh my God, I know. It's like time flies, dude. I don't even know. What are you doing now? Um, well, I was in school for education, but like, I don't know. I'm probably in there for nursing now. I'm okay. changing my major. So, yeah. Education, nursing, both noble yeah. professions. Yeah. All right. I just want to well, help people. So, before yeah. we start worrying about all that other stuff, mm -hmm. just have a good time tonight, all right? Thank Enjoy you. yourselves. is coming in nice style up oh, up oh, look at the shoes look at the shoes oh look who it is oh oh hello guys come on over and get interviewed I mean you can't roll up in a Porsche and not get interviewed why don't you introduce yourselves I'm Danielle Tally McKeever. there we go so tell me about your outfits tonight <laughs> we just want to wear black and blue, you know, his favorite color. Okay, And I okay. just show a little spark, you know. Um, you guys are definitely, I think, in contention for best dressed couple. Between the dress, the shoes, I love the blue, the hair. They are ready to go. What are you guys looking forward to tonight? The, fun. Yeah, just <laughs> dancing, having fun, you know. Dancing, having fun. It's the kickoff to all the senior events. So, guys, have fun. Have a good time. All right, it's the North Penn High School senior prom. It's like the only night of the year that I feel totally underdressed, all right? And that's because we have people that come in here looking like this, like looking like a fairy tale couple, actually. So introduce us to yourself and then tell us who your lovely date is. I'm Josiah, and this is Ashley Davis. Josiah, Ashley has some incredible makeup going on there. What do you think about that? I think it's wonderful. It's actually perfection, you know? Absolutely. She did a really good job. How long did that take, Ashley? Um, it took about an hour and a half. You had to sit still for an hour and a half? Yeah. I don't think I could do that. Well, I mean, it was worth it. It's totally worth it. Yeah. You look great. Look at Thank the greens you. and everything. Thank you. What are you looking forward to most tonight, Ashley? Um, dancing with my friends and eating food because I'm really hungry. Everybody comes hungry. That's good because there's plenty of food. Yeah. Um, what are you guys doing uh, next year after you graduate? Next year, I will be attending Bloomsburg University. Go Huskies? Yep. And? I'm actually an um, uh, alumni. You're an alumni too, that's yeah. two in a row. Yeah. What are you doing with yourself nowadays? Monco and work. Where Just, are you working? Uh, the YMCA. YMCA? Yeah. Do you want to sing the song? Sing the song? The YMCA song, you want to do it? All no. right. Go do it, do it, do it. YMCA. Oh yeah, okay. You know that that's never before happened on the prom interview show? Nobody's okay. ever done that before? We could be uh, the first. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you guys look great, the flowers are awesome. Food is coming up soon, so you best better get in there and have a seat and have a good time tonight. Sounds good. All right, Great. enjoy. Well, it is 2019. We're at the end of another decade and there's a lot of new advancements in technology out there and believe it or not, 
Some of those advancements have found their way to the senior prom, and Amy Young has some of that for us right now. So I'm here with Nick, who works for East Coast Productions, and I saw him across the room carrying this really cool thing. So we came over to see what this is all about. What can you tell us? So this is called a ring roamer, and what we can do is we can, uh, all the kids can come out and they can uh, take a nice photo with a bright light. So here, watch this. So I'm going to change it. Here's a bright light for you. Ooh, okay. Right. And what we can do is it's got the North Penn symbol on there. Right. I'm take a photo of you right now, all right? So smile, all right? Get in the camera, you can take three photos. Oh, three, okay, yeah. okay. This thing is really awesome. I love Super it. Super cool. And one more. One more. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. And now after that, what we can do is we end up getting to actually text it to yourself. Okay. So not viewing the camera, we can type your number in <laughs> okay. and you'll be able to have it forever. So oh. the kids can uh, share it on social media to whatever. It is cool. Awesome. And hit share. Yep. All right. And then that's yours to keep. Oh, and there's so all these other options too, where you can add like uh, funny masks or little quotes and stuff like that. Oh, neat. Okay. So it is, it is the device of this senior prom. Every year at the senior prom, this DJ comes up with some neat, cool new idea that we did not have at last year's senior prom, and this is just one of them. This lighting is fantastic, I will say, by the way. The second cool thing that they have going for us this year is, are we ready for it? Okay. Sparklers! These are super neat and cool, as you can see. Very cool. Tell us more about them. Anybody want to tell us more? DJ No No, get over here. Tell us about this. Is the first time we've ever had these at one of our dances before. So, what are they all about? Sparkler machines, fire marshal approved. <laughs> ah, so we could possibly use these in our high school next year for one of our dances. Absolutely, cool spark technology. So, it's all it does is it shoots up. You can put your hand over it if you want to give a display. Yeah, yeah. I'll show oh. you a little bit of. Work. Okay, okay. All right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> that's super cool. Yeah. There we go, guys. Only the best for this senior class, let me tell you. Back to you. All right, we have some serious North Penn blues going on here. All right, there's nobody is blue at the prom, but we just like dress in blue. So I want you guys to tell us who you are, and then I'm gonna ask like maybe like 35 follow-up questions, okay? Okay, I'm Emily Crawford. And I'm Delaney Gray. All right, Emily and Delaney, you guys are about the exact same height. They like, say we look like sisters. You could definitely be sisters. All right. <laughs> Tell us about the prom and what you're looking forward to tonight. I'm excited for the ice cream. I'm ready to just dance. What comes first, dancing or ice cream? Dancing. Ice cream. Actually, the ice cream comes second. They hold <laughs> off on that because they want you to wait. Uh, Tell us where you got your dresses. Camille Lavelle. Uh, country, bride, and gent. Fancy stuff. Um, and what are you guys doing for the rest of the school year? What are you looking forward to most? I'm excited to graduate. Absolutely. Who isn't? Yeah, graduation for sure. And then what about next year? Um, I leave for basic training for the Army in June. Wow, yeah. get out. That's going to be something. Where do you have to go for that? Uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, yeah, I hear it's really cool in the summer in yeah, South Carolina. Yeah, really cold. Emily, how about you? Uh, I'm playing Fidaki at UMass next year. Wow, very nice. You guys are going in opposite directions. Yeah. Any shout outs to anybody tonight? Uh, Hi, Mom. My dad. I'm sure he's watching this. <laughs> All right. Hello, parents. Enjoy the show. They're in good hands. Everything's going well. No problems. All right, guys, have a great time. Thank you. All right, we have another tall couple here making me feel a little bit short, so I'll just kind of stand up a little bit. All right, I'm going to ask you guys a few follow-up questions, but first just tell us who you are and tell us what you're looking forward to most tonight. Okay. I'm Jonathan Gerwick, and I would say I am most looking forward to post-prom, where we're sleeping over each other's houses for a lit slumber party. Oh, yes, a lit slumber party. That's great. Okay. I'm Allie Robinson, and I'm most looking forward to the ice cream. Allie, didn't you just have an article written about you in the night I prior? I did. Shout out to Allison Lasienka for writing. Yeah, we got to get her on here soon. Such a bomb article. Allie, you got to tell us about your necklace. So I have a bit of a reputation of being a snake, and I figured, why not embrace it? Well, so like, what do you mean by that? Like, why do people think you're a snake? Because you're like sly and slithery, or because you're like cunning and, and, and dark? Like, what is it? 
A little bit of both. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, I've never seen that before, but it looks great. Thank okay. you. Um, what are you guys doing next year? I'm going to a uh, school in Berlin. How about that? Now that is something. What is taking you overseas? My love of German, basically. Okay. Yeah. And how about you? I'm going to Pace University up in New York City in Manhattan. That is, I'll tell you what, we have some people in North Penn that are doing all kinds of great things next year. So for tonight, you look golden, you look wonderful. I like the check pattern on the thank tux you, there. Thank you. Enjoy your time tonight here at the Senior Prom. Thank, thank you. you. to another party bus that just arrived. Everybody say hi. Hey. You guys, this is really nice. I like it. All right, you guys ready to come to your senior prom? Come on in. Black's like a very, very classic look. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. No, a skunk with diaper rash. You didn't know that? All right, here's how we do this. You're gonna introduce us to yourselves and then I'm gonna ask you some follow-up questions. Go ahead. All right, I'm Aiden Daly. And what are you looking forward to tonight, Aiden? Uh, I'm looking forward to dinner. All right, and Aiden, what are you doing here tonight? How did you find yourself back here at the prom? Um. Caitlin was gracious enough to invite me this year, so I'm happy to be here for the second time. All right, Caitlin, you think that this guy has some experience at the prom, like he could probably show you the ways tonight? I've already been to senior prom, so I can show myself wow. the way. Wow, you guys are like super Ooh. experienced, okay? Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're looking forward to. Uh, I'm Caitlin, I'm a senior, and I'm also looking forward to dinner. All right, what are you doing next year, Caitlin? I am studying nursing at Duquesne and swimming there. All right, Pittsburgh, Steel City. All yep. right, Aiden, tell us about Penn State. First year, what's it like? Penn State's awesome. Uh, Happy Valley. I'm studying computer science. Okay. That's about it. That's good. All right, well, listen, no swimming tonight, just dancing, eating, socializing, enjoying. Have fun. You guys introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Simran Rathod. Kevin Schuyler. And what's really funny about this is Simran is our current student government vice president, and we now have our future yep. vice president elect just won the office. So we're looking forward to a great year next year. What are you guys excited about with prom? Everything about it, dancing, the food, the ice cream. It seems to be a popular answer. How about you? I, I hope there's an ice cream bar. That's all I'm hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's going to be an ice cream bar. And I think there might be more candy than last year. So you guys are in store. All right, guys, have a good time. Enjoy. All right, it's Saturday. But in somebody's house, it's always Friday. Okay? And Derek, you graduated last year. So i got to figure out what you're doing here, first of all. All right? And then we're going to hear all about your lovely date. So how did you find your way back here this year? Uh, beautiful girl, Madeline Voss, invited me to come back and all go right. to this prom with her. Madeline Voss, you invited Derek Friday to the prom this year. Then every question everybody wants to know, why? Uh, he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. And do you know what today is? You probably don't know what today is. It's Saturday. Yeah, but what else is today, Derek? It's a great day for baseball. It is a great day for baseball. It always is. Maddie, where'd you get your dress? Um, I'm borrowing it from a friend. That's the best way to do it. Yes. Cheap, easy, right? Yes. Okay. Um, what are you looking forward to at the prom besides like what everybody says, which is the chicken? Chicken. Oh, uh, the ice cream. And the ice cream bar, okay. <laughs> what are you doing next year? Uh, I'm going to St. Francis University. Very good. All right. Derek, what are you up to these days, bud? I'm um, just working. Where are you working? Uh, iron athlete, Jim. My man, Jimmy Ward. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Jimmy Ward. He's probably, I don't know, doing nothing tonight. Probably. Saturday night is what he does. <laughs> All right. Um, and then uh, what about the rest of the school year, Matt? What do you have coming up here before we uh, graduate in June? Um, 
studying for school. <laughs> 80, 88 P test or anything like that? No. Final exams coming up soon? Yeah. Reflections, you're gonna go to reflections? Yeah. All right. Um, Derek, anything else you wanna add before we move on from you guys? Um, no, thanks shout for Shout out to anybody? Uh, shout out Hi, Tina Voss. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's good, that's good. Great job, guys, have a good time tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, standing to my left, one of the most genuine, authentic people I've ever met. His name is Josh Lowe, all right? Josh, I want you to give us a wonderful introduction, like first class introduction to your beautiful date. All right, this is Madhu, my date. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Get out of here, wait your turn. All right, sorry, Josh, start over. All right, so this is my date, Madhu. That's not a good introduction. Uh, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. I wanna just give you some ideas, right? You're gonna be like, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to this, and like kind of something like that, right. okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Madhu. <laughs> Sorry, I don't take public speaking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think anybody needs you to say that. It's pretty obvious. Josh, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, probably dancing. Dancing? Yeah. And? Um, the music. What about those flowers? Did, yeah. jo did Josh get those? He did get them for me. I bet Bye, you, man. I bet you Carol Lee got those for you. Didn't I she? think so. The yeah. president of the Extra Innings Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, well, how'd you guys get here tonight? Uh, party bus. Party bus? Yeah. All right. What are you, why are you looking all around? Can you just focus right here? Focus, focus. I'm right. focused. Okay. What are you doing next year? Um, I'm going to college. I'm playing tennis for my college. Tennis? Really? What yeah. college? Uh, Shippingsburg University. I'm playing Excellent. D2 tennis. Ooh, very good. I'm excited. You know who also plays D2 tennis? Who? The son of my hitting coach, Frank Yanni. And oh, Miller's really? Frank Yanni. Yeah, that's I right. love Frank Yanni. He's you very talented. Yes, I do. Well, you have a very good... Josh, get out of here. Come over here. Hi. You do a... You're really good. Can you do a favor? Can you introduce us to yeah, Josh? Yeah, of course. Like, this is Josh Lowe, number 33, pitcher of the baseball team, varsity. Now, yep. See, that's how you do it. Yup. Okay? She had nothing to see. She's not in my class either. All right. Listen, enough of that. Have a good time tonight. Thank you so much. All right. We, this must be popular. We've got a long line for interviews tonight, so we're going to keep things moving here. Tell us about yourself, like name, major in college next year, what you're looking forward to tonight, and then you're going to give us a rousing introduction to your beautiful day. My name is Evan Sternbeck. I am going to St. Joe's University for Business Administration. Um, All right, now, Evan, now it's time to turn our attention to the beautiful girl to your left. So we tried this a couple minutes ago, and the guy wasn't very good at it. So I want you to give us a dynamic introduction to your date. This is my beautiful date, Chloe Bulanagi. Chloe, you have a beautiful dress. Where did you get it? From Macy's. <laughs> Perfect place to get a dress. Chloe, what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to dancing and the ice cream bar. Everybody I love ice cream. Ice cream bar. Like, like it's like you guys have cream. never had ice cream before. Don't you go to Freddie no. Hill or Mary Mead ever? <laughs> so you go to Freddie Hill? You go to Freddie Hill? You ever go and to, Unlimited. Did you ever get ice cream at Freddie Hill, though? Yeah, it is a lot. I'm Do you, sure do you know who works better. at Freddie Hill? Who? A really good friend of mine. Really? Her name? Diane who? West. Say it again. Diane West. Diane West. Aww. Okay, she absolutely works here. Um, so how about the rest of you? You guys are like wrapping up senior year here. What's coming up? You know, what are you looking forward to? Um, graduation and summer with friends and family and stuff before college. Good. Any big summer plans? Um, going to the beach with friends and family. Which beach? Uh, Maryland and New Jersey. All right. Ocean Very City. Good. All right. Well, hey, before yeah. you go do that, before you graduate and go off and put your feet in the sand, let's have a great time tonight at senior prom. Let's do it. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. We are here with Joe, and Joe is in an interesting situation here. Tell us what happened to your foot. Uh, I had surgery on it. Joe had surgery on his foot, and I have to ask you, did you plan on picking a black cast to match your tuxedo? Yeah. Well planned, Joe. I think that's awesome that you match your tuxedo, you're ready to go, you have your mode of transportation, nothing's gonna stop you tonight, right? Yeah. All right, Joe, have fun, enjoy the dance.
All right, here we are. We're continuing on here. Another dynamic power couple, it looks like, here to my left. So we're going to have you guys introduce yourselves, and then we'll ask you a few questions. Uh, I'm Nick Cataldi, and this is my date, Madison Moroni. Nick and Madison. Yes. That's got a nice ring to it. All right. <laughs> Cataldi, Paisan. All right, I like that. Um, any relation to the great Angelo Cataldi? Uh, no, no. Any relation to the great Henry Cataldi? Yes, that's my dad. Very good. All right. Henry and I are about the same age. In fact, I think he grew up right near me. So yeah, good people, Henry. Hard worker, that Henry Cataldi. Yeah. Should be very proud of him. Yeah. All right, tell us about your lovely date. Uh, yeah, she, uh, she's got a really nice dress on. And she does? Yeah. I just where think did, she's where beautiful. Where did you get that lovely dress? Um, I think it was Country Bride and Gents. We all like know Country Street. Bride and Gents. Yep, great place. Popular place. Um, what are you looking forward to tonight the most? Dancing, the good music, the food. I heard the chicken was good, so. Everybody says that. All right, you guys good dancers? I am. Oh, she is. You are? So you're gonna lead? Yeah. Okay. Not that, not that dancing these days like is leading. Yeah. Like it's not really like that. You know what I mean? Um, what are you guys doing next year? I'm going to Westchester. Okay. So is he? But yes. Both go to Westchester. Yes. Majors? Business marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Business, okay. Same thing, but management. You guys have similar classes, probably, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, tonight, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the school year, and uh, we'll see you on the dance floor. All right, we're going to talk about some big fans of The Prom Show in a second. But before we do that, tell us who you are and introduce us to your lovely day. How you doing? I'm Tim Paul, and uh, I go to LaSalle College High School. Tim, LaSalle, huh? Yeah. Now, can we just, well, all right, I'll just, I have a follow-up question, but tell us who your lovely date is first. Uh, this is Caitlin Freeze. She's from North Penn. I've known her for about a year now. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. We have 3,000 kids in our school. <laughs> you had to go to LaSalle to find this guy? No, we met during lifeguarding. Oh, where do you lifeguard? Tolmanson Pool. Tolmanson, you know what? Tolmanson Township, a great place to live, work, and play. I, agree. I love Tolmanson Township. Yes. All right, now, you said that your parents have been waiting since you were in second grade yeah. to watch the show. Yes. You want to give a little shout out to Bob and Rose? Hi, Rose and Bob, and Maddie, and my brother, and my aunt. What a big moment. Yeah. Are they having a, a watch party for this? Definitely, absolutely. We'll all be uh, sitting around the TV. Do you know, actually, us. a lot of people do that for the prom show. It is the yeah. most highly rated television show in North Payne TV all not year. Not surprised. Do you guys have a prom show at LaSalle? Uh, no, we do not. Do you have a prom? No. We do, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, well, I like some people that go to LaSalle, so I, I guess you're all right. <laughs> um, tell us about your flowers. Where'd you get them? Um, Gennardi's Florists. Ah, uh, yes, very good place. Long time yes. business in the district. Yes. And I just want to say, like, and this is totally a compliment, I feel like I'm interviewing Amy Poehler here from the hit show Parks and Rec. Like, you bear a slight resemblance to Amy Poehler, but you don't even know who she is, do you? I do not. All right, no. well, it's totally a compliment. All right, um, what are you guys doing uh, after this, after tonight, rest of the school year, next year, what's going on? I'm going to University of Lynchburg to study elementary education and minor in special ed. Oh, you could come back and work in North Penn someday. Maybe. How about you next year? Going into Temple, Fox School of Business. Fox School of Business, very good, impressive stuff. Hey, have a great time today, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. you There's all kinds of magic the night of the senior prom, and right now we're gonna check out a magic mirror. No, it's real. It's a magic mirror right here at Drexelbrook. Let's go check it out. So we are currently here at our magic mirror booth, another super cool thing that the kids have to do at the prom. So you click the button, you wait for it, you wait for it, and you pose. I think I missed it. Little images come up on the screen, and then you wait for it again. This time I wanna be ready. Two, one, okay. I think we get three, and now we dance. I don't know if the audience needs to see this, but we'll do it. Okay, so then what happens is the kids can come over and they can sign their names. That's me. I'm running camera, you gotta And Kyle, Mr. Berger. Thanks, and then you hit done. And there's our pictures. I think we have some work to do on our posing, but for the most part, turned out pretty cool. And then the kids can do this as many times tonight as they want. All right, we are broadcasting live to the world. <laughs> well, we are, I mean, the internet, like anybody can watch anything. All right, Anthony Hayes, welcome to Senior Prime. You guys look great in your red, black, and white. Anthony, introduce us first, please, to your lovely date. Um, so this is, this is my prom date. Uh, this is Kelly Schoening, and we we're, both, we we're both in 12th grade. Okay. We both, um, We've both been uh, friends for the senior year, and um, 
she's a, she's a really nice friend. Um, go ahead. And uh, we were both really excited to go to senior prom, and we're looking forward to a great night. Good. Kelly, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Having fun with my friends. What are you going to do? Dance the night away? Probably. <laughs> Eat some ice cream? Heck yeah. Okay. So you guys are both seniors. So what do you got going on for next year? Oof. Uh, basics. Basics? <laughs> Getting my basics done. Where? where? Uh, Monco. Okay. Very good. I also plan on going to Mo Montgomery County Community College. All right. I plan Fantastic. on um, I plan on majoring in electrical engineering. Okay. And good. Um, hopefully transferring to a four year a four year school like like Temple, and um, getting a bachelor degree. Sounds like a great plan to me. Do you want to say hello to Mrs. McKee? Hello, Mrs. McKee. Okay. We just have to say Mrs. McKee. We got to get her into the show somehow. <laughs> um, how about the rest of the school year? What are you looking forward to most before the year's over? Uh, getting finals over with. <laughs> uh, nobody likes finals, right? But you know what the best thing about finals is? When you take your last final of the day, you go home, it's 11 o'clock, it's a beautiful summer day, you can do whatever you want for the rest of the day. That's the best part about it. All right, guys, have a great time tonight. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll uh, see you around Drexel. Thank you. special guest here and his wonderful date and I thought he was going to run the interview but he's a little nervous which is kind of weird so why don't you tell us who you are who your date is and then I will be the one that asks the follow-up question all right so my name is Paul Callender um, I do North Penn television um, and yeah like Mr. Monero said I'm I should be behind the camera but I decided to take the night off and spend it with my date Caitlin all right very um, good she goes to Marion Mercy Academy and we're here to have a good time tonight Marion so. Mercy Academy Tell us about Mary and Mercy Academy. Um, it's a Catholic girls' school in Marion Station, Pennsylvania. All right. And how do you guys know each other? I slid into his DMs. Okay. <laughs> so, so again, what we're going to do is we're going to put subtest in it to slide into somebody's DMs. What does that mean for our listening audience? I looked Paul Calendar up on Instagram. And I messaged him on his Instagram. Can I ask you, like, what made you look him up? Did you see him on TV or something? Or, like, what was it? Um, I knew he was really famous at North Penn and North Penn Television, so I figured I would go for it. Paul, that's celebrity status, man. Yeah, I know. And you get, like, verified on Instagram now. So I, I don't even know what that means, but, I mean, you're a news personality. Yeah. I mean, you're no Jim Gardner. You know, you're no Yuki Washington. Well, you're pretty close. I guess so. All right, well... You famous people, enjoy yourselves tonight. Have a great time here at the prom. Thank you. All right, whenever I get to interview a former student of mine, I, I know they're very prepared to be well-spoken, all that kind of stuff. So introduce us to yourself and your lovely date. Hi, my name is uh, Daniel Dolan. This is my beautiful date, Natasha Olavsky. Um, yeah. Natasha, is that Polish your last name? No. What is it, Russian? It's Macedonian. Macedonian? Yeah. Oh, I've never met a Macedonian. That's fantastic. Now you have. Lucky man. <laughs> All right. Dan, when you picked her up tonight, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Um, she actually picked me up. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that. Yes. Well, when you saw her, what was the first word that came to your mind? Um, dang. Dang, okay, dang. That means stunning, beautiful, amazing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh the food. The food. The okay. Food. All right. Tell us about your dress. Where did you get your green dress? And by the way, what shade of green is that? What shade of green? Yeah, do you know what it's called? <laughs> it's, I mean it's I don't know, it's like a um, sort of a actually forest my mom emerald says type. spring green. Spring yeah, okay. emerald. Okay. Yeah. All right, where'd you get it? Don't remember. Don't oh it's a don't remember. You know what? I shop there all the time. It's a great place. All right. <laughs> what are you guys doing next year? I am going to Monaco to study special education and secondary education. Super. You should come back and teach in North Penn. That's always the goal. Next year? I'm um, going to Temple to Temple. study public health. Temple University, Broad Street, Philadelphia, the heart of the city. All right, guys, have a great time. Let enjoy yourself. Thank you. I am here with one of my dearest, closest friends, the lovely Marguerite Midge Margaret Marino. That's a great introduction. It Thank is. You. And the thing about Margaret Marino is that this night tonight, 
would not happen without her. I you are a senior that. class advisor. I am a senior class advisor. All right, can you please tell us what has gone into the planning of the senior, senior prom here tonight? To tell you the truth, I always thought this would be a cakewalk. Show up, the venue takes care of everything. Yep. But there's a little more work involved. Trying to get- A little bit. Oh yeah, I didn't realize um, getting all the students in the tables they want to be with their friends. Yeah. But it's been worth it, everyone's happy. Did anybody try to change their tables like less than 24 hours ago? Uh, less than 10 minutes ago? Yes. Oh, less than 10 uh -huh. minutes ago, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should just tell them to go to McDonald's or something. No, of course I accommodated in their switch, yes. This is this right here, more patience than anybody no. I've ever met in my no, life. So true, okay? but. You know, I never knew that our friendship would survive all these years, yes. but it did. How about that? I'm glad um, it did, I'm glad it did. Especially because well, now I get to be on the show, I wouldn't be on the show. You've been wanting to do this forever, haven't mm -hmm. you? I have, I have, so thank you. What's Rich Marino doing tonight? He is at home with my daughter Katie and they're having a dinner. So it's it. A dinner. Mm -hmm. Is he wearing khaki pants and boots? Yes, he is. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about what's happening here. You got a lot of features going on, some cool things. So this year we decided to do the portable photo booth, which okay. is kind of cool. I liked it a lot. I've done it three times so far. Perfect. And then, of so course we... you did. You're not shy for the camera, of course. <laughs> so we have three photo booths, and mm -hmm. then we have um, sparklers going off for the dance floor tonight. I heard that they're called cold sparklers. Cold sparklers. Hopefully they'll be allowed at North Penn High School someday. Not I don't really know. sure what that is, but we're gonna, I, I guess we're so, going to find out tonight. It's going to be nice. Yep. Mr. Gilmore is going to check it all out and make sure okay. it's safe, but well, it's going to be cool. So. He's very safe. He's he very, is safe. very safe. All right, so it's also, it's it's the end of the school year. Yeah. Right? I mean, almost the end of the school year. It's middle May, planted the garden today. A little oh, zucchini, some zucchini good. and some Can tomatoes. Some? Will you just give me some? I will give you some. Okay. That soil was wet. Boy, is it raining. Okay. How are um, your fields? Fields are wet, always. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, though. Uh, the year's almost over. What other things are coming up this school so, year that the senior class has to take care of? There's a lot more. The next event is Reflections, which yep. our theme is Friends, the mm -hmm. Friends theme. Okay. And then we have class night. We have uh, two escape rooms. Maybe you want to go to that? Maybe. Not, last time I was Maybe. Mr. Monero, we didn't escape. No, so. we did not escape the escape no. room. No, no. We didn't. So no. there's two of those and um, some slides and a barbecue. Right. So that's good. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. And then, of course, reflections of graduation and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Right? Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, right. that's too. This is the famous Margaret Marino. Thank you. She is a lifelong devoted educator. <laughs> She's a wonderful human being. Oh, my gosh. Right? And she is a friend. So thank you for being thank a friend. You. Thank all right? you. Thank and you have a great night here at the Senior Prom. of the senior prom and we are with, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Soraya. I'm Brennan. They are here for the senior prom and they are actually the first to arrive. So welcome to the prom ladies. Enjoy your night, head on into check-in and have fun. All right, this is the bro interview. All right, we have tennis, hockey, hockey. hockey over here. Hockey over here, soccer over here, tennis over here. All right, three upstanding gentlemen of North Penn High School. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually going to do something I hard labor. I'm going to actually give you the microphone. You're going to tell us who you are right. and tell us a little about what you do at North Penn and what you're looking forward to tonight. All right. Um, hi, my name is uh, Jared Albana. Um, I play uh, ice hockey and tennis for the high school, in fact. Um, I'm involved. I'm the vice president of our class, and uh, I helped put on this senior prom we have. And I'm looking forward to just having a great night, eating some great food, and talking to some really great people. The vice president of the class. Did you ever get worried you might be called into duty as president, like, you know, impeachment hearings or anything like that? Nothing? I thought there'd be some impeachments, but there never were any impeachments, so I just stayed yeah. as the vice president, and it's been great. Yeah. We heard that in SGA there is no collusion, or no collusion. in class government, no collusion. no collusion. Okay. All right, Luke. Yes. Uh, I'm Luke McMahon. Uh, I play soccer here. I was the captain of the soccer team. Uh, my name is Tanaf Donjavuru. I'm the captain of the tennis team. I'm the secretary of FBLA. Um, and I'm just here to have a great time. <laughs> so now, have you got the white coat going on there tonight? Yeah, I do. Are you nervous you might spill something on it? I'm pretty nervous. They said I won't get my deposit back. <laughs> All right, you'll, you'll have that coat on the back of the chair in no time anyway. I hope so. All right, look, guys, I want one more thing from all of you. All Tell right. us what you're doing next year. We'll pass the mic right down. Uh, I'm studying data, applied data sciences at the College of Information Sciences and Technology at Penn State. That's a long title. That was yeah. a I love Penn title. State. Yeah. <laughs> Luke? Uh, I'm going to continue playing soccer and studying business at the University of Mary Washington. Very good. And then I am majoring in mathematics and computer science also at Pennsylvania State University. All right. Sounds like great futures for you guys, but in the meantime, have a great night tonight. All right. Once again, three 
company, and here we have three people here before us, a lot of blacks and, and all kinds of like some reds and stuff. We got a lot going on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have all of you guys introduce the audience, you know, to yourselves and tell us a little bit about yourself. You, I understand, are a college student. Yeah. All right, old college student, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Jared. I'm in I go to Drexel right now. Um, yeah, I came back as a because this one. This one. Yeah. All right, the Drexel Dragons. What are you doing at Drexel? What are you majoring in? I'm studying material science engineering. Good. Were you in the engineering program in North Bend? I was. Yes. How about that, Mr. Boyer, huh? What a great teacher that yeah, guy is, I like right? Him. He is. And Dr. Wojcik and yeah. Reichwine and, and uh, Waddington and Young. I mean, what a great group of people down there. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. All right, let's pass the mic down. Hi. I'm hi. Nicole. They can't say hi back to you because they're, <laughs> they're in their living rooms, okay? Uh, this is my third senior prom, and it's very Whoa, whoa, exciting. wait, wait, wait. Beep, beep, back up the truck. <laughs> Please tell us how it has been that you have gone to three senior proms. Um, well, shout out to my friend Darren for taking me in his senior year when I was in 10th grade. Okay. And last year I was dating a senior, so he took me to his. And this year I'm a senior, so this is mine. Did you do this interview before? I did last year, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have to go back and look at the tape. <laughs> All right. I was wearing a blue dress. Okay. And my hair was straight. You'll find me. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'm very Good energetic. luck for this year, though. Good luck for this Thank year. Thank you. Um, tell us what you're doing next year. I'm going to Penn State for engineering, so that's really Ooh, exciting. Very good. Yeah. I feel like I'm around some very smart people right now. Yeah, we yeah. try. We don't succeed usually, but we try. You know. Hey, even <laughs> even some of the most famous people have failed a million times before they succeeded. That's All right. very true. And hello, I'm Jer. Uh, I'm a senior this year. This will be my first senior prom. <laughs> that's what most people do. They yes. go to one. Yeah. Yes. And I am taking Nicole to prom. This yeah. is my date. And uh, next year I'll be attending uh, Penn State for uh, psychology. Very good. Tell us a little about the Star Wars bow tie you have there. It's a, a good find. Yes. Uh, I am a huge Star Wars fan. Okay. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, grew up watching it. I'm going to continue watching it for as long as I live. Good. So, yeah. That makes sense. All right, guys. Have a great time tonight. Sarah Marshall and she is the senior class president this year so she has been very involved in planning this senior prom tonight what can you tell us about tonight um it's all come together so we're all very excited about that it's been about like two months in the making so it's taken a very long time mm -hmm. and it all came together so it's so exciting and I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like inside I'm excited for you guys where do you see it? it's beautiful how did you come up with the theme a night to remember um we all kind of we're throwing around ideas and then someone said this idea and we're like, ooh, that sounds like a really good prom idea. So we stuck with that and we based the whole night around. I love it. I love it. Who are you here with? Who are your friends? Um, this is my friend Megan. Megan. Evan. And Michael. All right. There they are. Class of 2019. They're ready to check in. So go have fun, guys. Enjoy. Yep. All right. This is a classic look, okay? Red, white, black, the classic red bow tie. You gotta love when people try to come in behind the camera like we're not doing something here. Hello, we're trying to do something. All right, um, tell us who you are and tell us who your lovely date is. Uh, my name is Nick and Cherry. I'm a senior here. And then this is my date, Maria Tuzzo. She's a junior. A junior? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna get to her in a second because she's the star of the show tonight. Uh, <laughs> Nick, you had a little bit of a rough fall this year. Tell us about that. I uh, tore my ACL playing football this year. Uh, opening play of the first game, actually, on a kickoff. So yeah, not how you want to start a season. No, not at all. How are you feeling all. now? A lot better. Good. Jogging finally. So good. You gonna try to play in college? Uh, I might. I'm gonna take a year off at least. Okay. But maybe one day. All right. Very good. All right. And your lovely date. When you picked her up tonight, what was the first word that came to your mind? Uh, beautiful. Beautiful is a very good word. All right. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Um, I don't know, dancing. How about the ice cream bar? Did you hear about that? No. You didn't hear about the ice cream bar? No. Oh my gosh, it's like the best thing ever. Right. Um, what do you guys have going on for the rest of the school year? Anything good? Uh, nothing much. Just trying to get out of here, trying to graduate. Everybody's trying to get out of here. Yeah. All right. How about you? Um, I'm not graduating, I know. So. so. what else is coming up? Final exams? Yeah, finals. All nothing really. Stuff? All right, very good. Um, next year's your senior year. Yeah. So, you got one big year left. I got one piece of advice for you. Before you graduate from North Penn, do as much as you can. Yeah. Get involved as much as you can, and maybe next year we'll see you back here at the prom again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys, have a good time tonight. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, here we are. We're going to start off to my right. Now, this is a guy 
that you might not see him a lot on NPTV because he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but Dom is a big TV guy. So all these three people are going to tell you what they do at North Penn, and then we're going to follow up with some really good thought-provoking questions while the guy behind us sweeps up the floor. All right, Dom, go ahead. So, uh, North Penn, obviously I do MPTV. You know, it's nice to be here tonight without uh, working. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> you can just have fun tonight yes. for the first time. Yeah. Did you work here last year? I did. So you know all about this stuff. You know all about what goes on here at the Prime. You're sort of like a veteran. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm Sharon Chong. I'm really heavily involved in SGA and MPTV. And Sharon Chong, what is your position in SGA? I'm the treasurer this year. The treasurer. How yes. funds? It's good. It's good. 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 That's good. With all the events that we've done, it's it's looking great. That's outstanding. Yes. Uh, I'm Andrew La, and I'm part of the Epics Club, the IRT team, and the engineering program at the high school. Tell us about Epics. What does Epics stand for? Uh, engineering projects in uh, community service. Science, yeah. I think. <laughs> I think it's science. something like that. I think so. Okay. Well, anyway, there's a lot that goes on at Epics Club. You know Mr. Boyer very well, right? Yeah, I love Mr. Boyer. Yeah, great guy. All right, so um, it's senior prom. It's one night that you don't have to worry about engineering and all that kind of stuff. So what are you looking forward to most tonight, Dom? Dancing, for sure. Dancing? You guys think Dom can dance? Yeah, yeah, can yeah, definitely. Do you think we should see it a little bit right here? Yeah, go Dom, down. Dom, you dance a little bit? Yes, yes, yes. We'll yeah. pass? Okay, uh, he said we'll pass. All right. all right, last thing I want to know, though, actually, in addition to, uh, you know, stuff going on tonight, is I want to know what all of you are doing next year. Uh, next year, I am going to Drexel, and I'm going to be a material science engineer. Good. Drexel and North Penn have a good partnership already right yeah, now, yes, so that's do. good. I will also be attending Drexel for marketing, like in business. Okay, good. Yes. Dom? Uh, I'm going to George Mason University for cybersecurity engineering. Cybersecurity engineering? Oh, oh yes. that's big time. It's interesting. All right, hey, guys, have a great time tonight, and watch out for flying microphones, all right? The brains behind the operation tonight, the senior class advisor, well, co-advisor, Mrs. Margaret Marino is in the photo booth with Amy Young. I can't imagine what's going on, so let's go take a look. I'm currently in our other photo booth. Woo! We have three photo booths here at this senior prom, and we're looking at ourselves on the screen, but we should be looking at the camera. Anyway, I'm here with... Uh, uh, we missed it. Wait, picture three. Ooh, okay, ooh, ooh. So wait, okay wait. ready? Hey. Two, one, ready? Oh, so cute. Right. I am currently in the food booth with the senior class advisor, Margaret Marino, who has done an exceptional job at the prom tonight. We love Margaret. Tell us about the prom. What can you tell us? So the prom has been a very, very fun to plan. Um, we have three photo booths this year. We have surprise sparklers on the dance floor tonight. Um, that's about it. It's, it's a good night. It just started raining, but everyone's almost here and dinner served in... 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, I can't wait. What's so great about the senior prom and for the class advisors, this is the kickoff to all the end of the year things for the senior class. So fun, it goes by so fast. So it's an exciting night for the kids and the teachers. It's also a little sad because it's the beginning of the end. We've gotten very close to our class, but it's gonna be a good, we have three more of that. It'll be great, so. it'll be great. Another Ooh, one. another one, okay. <laughs> Just another Saturday night. You know, typical Saturday night. I don't know about the rest of you guys around town, but this is what it looks like for me. All right, anyway, seriously. All right, you guys are all here tonight, yeah. shining, all dressed up for Thank senior you. prom. I want to have you guys go right down the line and tell us who you are and what you're looking forward to most tonight. Um, my name's Phoebe Afrin, and I'm looking forward to the dancing. Phoebe, who's your favorite nighttime teacher? Mr. Monero, Thank definitely. You very much. My name is Olivia Slater, and I'm looking forward to dancing with Phoebe Afrin. <laughs> Any relation to AC Slater from Saved by the Bell? No. But like, what's that? Like, I don't even know yeah, that no. show. I know. Like, is that a show from like the '80s? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. What are you looking forward to dancing? With the Bihar Oh, okay. You guys want to show us some moves right now? You can. Um, yeah, let's. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do a little spin. Show us some moves. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how the kids do it these days. All right, over here. I'm Maria. I'm from Spain, and I'm looking for an American experience. You play softball? Yeah, I do. I heard them talking about you the other day. Like oh. every time. They ask you a question, they like think that you don't know the answer because you're from Spain or something like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. They would make they were just yeah. having some fun. So Maria, you're from Spain. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else here is not from Spain. I'm from no. France. You're from France. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is very interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So 
What have you liked the most about America since you've been here? I don't know. Softball? <laughs> okay. Did you have softball in Spain? No, we don't. This I didn't the, know what was so it. This is the first time you ever played softball? Yeah. Ooh, I'm so that's bad exciting. though. Okay. Well, that's okay. We had a kid from Germany that played baseball with us before. Uh -huh. He didn't never play before. That's fine. Yeah. And you're from France. Yeah. Tell us what you like most about America. Um, I don't know. I just have so much fun here. Do you think um, you might yeah. want to just stay forever? Yeah, no, but okay. for some time. I don't know. When do you, got, when do you go home? Um, June. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, this is an American prom. You might have yeah. heard all about it. Uh -huh. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Ladies, enjoy your dancing tonight. Thank you. Thank all right. You. Have fun at senior prom. Thank you. All right, I have the one and only Kyle Scholes to my left. No T in his name, just Scholes, okay? Concrete, concrete Kyle Scholes. All right, Kyle, I want you to first, before we talk about you, I want you to tell us about your lovely right. date. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Diana James. Diana and James and you, how long have you guys been uh, a happy couple? Uh, three months about, yeah. Three months, yeah. okay, yeah. that's good for high yeah. school. Yeah. That's long term, yeah. it's an LTR, yeah. long term relationship. Yeah. When you picked her up tonight, what did you first think when you saw her? Look at her, she's beautiful. Duh, I know. obviously. That's what right? I thought, yeah, right away. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, I'm gonna make this one dance a lot. He doesn't seem to be like somebody who would be much of a dancer. No, what'll happen tonight? Okay, <laughs> all right, very good. Where did you get your lovely floral dress? David's bridal. David's bridal, okay, very good. I like the, I think we call that what, salmon? Coral. Cool. Oh, okay. okay. I like the flower. Yeah. All right, it's good. I like the pocket square. That's yeah. good. Very good. Yeah. Um, Kyle, you're a baseball player at North Penn. Yeah, yeah. Doing a good job yeah. in center field in the two spot. Tell us why you love baseball so much. I've been playing it my whole life. I love the game. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of sad that it's my last year, though. So. Well, but, there's always ways to stay in baseball yeah, for the rest of Yeah, yeah. Tell us what you guys are doing next year. Uh, I'm going to Duquesne University. I'm studying pharmacy. All right, good. Pittsburgh, PA. And I'll be studying business and Spanish at the University of Pittsburgh. Oh, both going to Pittsburgh. Okay. <laughs> New Kane and Pitt aren't yeah, too far away from yeah, each other. Yeah. All right, well, go Pirates, yeah, Steelers, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Let's not let's not convert when yeah. we're over there, okay? <laughs> Guys have a great time. All right. I'm a little wowed by the reds we have going on here. You guys <laughs> both look great. So I'm gonna ask you to introduce yourself to the audience and I'm gonna tell us tell us a little bit about your date. Like just enough that we can get a little bit and then we'll find some more information with some more questions, okay? All right. Uh, my name's Isaiah Beverly and my date's pretty attractive, I like to say the least. Yeah, uh, she is. Looks beautiful tonight. Absolutely. She's embarrassed right now, she's blushing. Absolutely. Does she have a name, Isaiah? Uh, I believe her name is Ali Vasquez. Okay. Isaiah, how do you know Ali? Shoot. I think we first met three years ago, Animation 1, Mr. Werner. Oh, okay. A little classroom uh, connection. That's good. We like that. Mm -hmm. right. What are you looking forward to most tonight? The dancing. I'm like so ready to like, get on the dance floor and bust out my moves, even though okay. I'm not that good. But Well, it's okay. Yeah. This guy probably knows how to dance a little bit, <laughs> do you? Yeah, I do. I got to say, man, I love the red jacket. Thank you. And the Gucci belt and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's pretty first class right there. Thank um, you. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing next year after you graduate. Next year, I'm going to Monco, like just get my basic like gen ed out of the way. Yep. Then after that, I want to like study animation and oh, art education, actually. Maybe come back to North Penn and teach someday. Everybody loves animation, right? There's a huge audience for that. So, yeah. Isaiah, how about you? Uh, later this year, during, uh, during August, I'll be going to Bloomsburg, August 11th. Okay. And I'll be spending four years there studying cybersecurity and just learning how all that works. Wow. It's very important right now, cybersecurity. Yeah, it is. A lot of things going out in the world. we got to make sure that we're secure in yeah. those, and those imaginary like airwaves yeah, out there. Yeah, computer know? chips and yep. just about everything. Absolutely. All right, well, guys, have a great time tonight. You can worry about cybersecurity and animation later. Enjoy the <laughs> dance floor. Thank you. One of our senior class students, Nandi, and her date? Irvin. Irvin, okay. Um, they are in contention, I think, for best dressed couple tonight. Tell me about your outfit. Uh, it's just simple gold and black. 
but with the flowers, whatever this is on it, it just makes it a little better. Like a little um, applique design thing and the shoes. I mean, don't forget the shoes. I don't look at either one of you guys and think simple. I think you guys brought it tonight. You both look great. Have a great time at the prom, guys. You're welcome. All right, shout out to Zach Folk and Shane Herb who are afraid to come on TV with their dates. I don't know where they are, they are. but they should probably have been here. They should okay. Have been here. All right. You guys are two of my favorite people at North Penn. All right, we know each other well. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is tell everybody who you are and then I'll ask some follow-up questions. Um, I'm Gab Salvino. Um, and well, you know what, Gab, let me let, let me ask you one important question. Okay. okay. What's Caden doing tonight? He is actually at the prom with his girlfriend. He, I didn't see him on the on the interview floor here. I know he should be. I mean, he's I so talkative, right? Yeah, exactly, be. exactly. And Jillian. Oh, he's introducing me. Um, yes. my name's Jillian. That's Jillian. My, yeah, Jillian. Yes. That's my best friend, Gab. Um, I'm Good. one of the editors for the Night Crier, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. That's www.nightcrier.org for those yeah. of you who are like at home and want to check it out, right? Yeah. All right, Jillian, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, tonight, I'm looking forward to the dancing. Like, I want to get on the dance floor right now. Lady in red. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready to go. And what about you, Gab? Um, I'm looking forward to the ice cream bar. Okay. Ice cream, dancing, all kinds of great stuff. It's senior prom. And what are you guys doing next year? Um, I'm going to Jefferson for fashion merchandising and management. Ah, my man Jake Drellick is going to Jefferson as well next year. Jill? I will be attending Westchester University as an English major. English major, right to my heart, <laughs> got a lot. All right, two of my current students, two of my favorites here tonight. You guys have lovely navy blue dresses, all right? Very North Penn-like. I have the light blue, so we are North Penn, all right? We are. North Penn. Ah, see, I like that. Okay, see, that was good that you picked up on that. All right, so I'm going to have you guys introduce yourselves, and then I'll ask you some follow-up questions. I'm Emily Biddle. Emily, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Uh, just having fun with my friends. Good. And? I'm Gabby Carano, and I'm looking forward to the Sunday bar. <laughs> Sunday bar's good. Yeah. Gabby, you want to um, maybe, like, say hello to your brothers or something? Hi, Steven. Hi, Matthew. Did you notice how she's just like, hi, Steven. Hi, Matthew. Because <laughs> they're annoying. They are annoying. I know. You know, I know that. I know. They're so annoying. I can't believe it. Um, what are you guys doing next year? I'm going to Millersville, and I'm going to be studying psychology. All right. Go Marauders. Um, I'm going to Penn State Abington, and I'm majoring in early childhood education. Great stuff. Great stuff. How about the rest of the year? Graduation's coming up. You guys excited? I'm so excited. Can't wait. Don't rush it away, though. Don't wish the days away, whatever you do. Yep. How about, how about like, reflections, anything like that? You go to reflections? Uh, yeah, I'm going to reflections. Yeah. All right, and before we round out this interview, we have to, of course, say that Gab, you write for the... Oh, the Night Crier. She forgot <laughs> for a second there, okay? Good Night Crier writer, and I gotta say that Gabby Carrado this year, she has come out of her shell. She's a new person, she's confident, she's loving it, and that's what we want to do at North Penn, make you guys great. So have a good time tonight. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of the school year. Thank you. One of my favorite people. Haley this is, Reef. <laughs> this is Haley Reef. Yep. Haley and I spent five wonderful days in Disney together this year. Uh -huh. I was her chaperone, and I do uh -huh. have to say that I think I have the best Disney group by far. By far. Haley, tell us what you're excited about tonight. You know, I'm just excited to dance and just spend some good time with my friends. You know, I'm just really excited for the great energy that's going to be here tonight. And this is why I like Haley, because she's always positive and right. she's always fun. Haley, have fun. Thank you, Miss Young. Hi, Mr. Berger. <laughs> have a good time. Everything is bigger in Texas. Texas. Texas, right. Do you all work at Texas Roadhouse? No. You don't? They do. <laughs> do you work at Texas Roadhouse? Yes, sir. Do you work at Texas no. Roadhouse? Do you have a job? Yes. Where? Panera. Oh. And I think I'd rather go to Texas Roadhouse. I don't Sorry. blame you. Okay. Anyway, all right. Enough of that stuff. By the way, at Texas Roadhouse, you know what my favorite thing is? When you go there and you pretend that it's somebody's birthday, right? Mm -hmm. What happens when we do that? You bring out the saddle. Right? Bring out the saddle. <laughs> yep. In fact, one time, 
my friend Jimmy Rittenhouse. Now, I'm not going to go to that story. All right, so do me a favor. Tell us, first of all, who you are. We're going to go name and then what you're looking forward to most tonight. Uh, I'm Avery. Uh, I'm looking forward to dancing. <laughs> is that it? What yeah. else? Good times, good people, good yeah. food. Avery, what is your last name? Hartman. Avery Hartman. <laughs> Connor Bryant. And Connor, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Mm, the chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Hungry. I got to say, by the way, I'm digging the blue. Thank I you. was a little worried I didn't wear black tonight because usually it's like a black tie affair, but the blue is very big this year. It's very popular. Where did you get your dress? Uh, Country Bride and Jet. Country Bride and Jet. All right, and Nicole you are? Santos. <laughs> Nicole Santos. Okay. Nicole, where did you get that awesome golden blue dress? Um, David's Bridal. David's Bridal. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Having a good time. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing at her? Are you guys like really good friends? Yeah. I hope so because she's like totally ripping on you over here. Yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> All right, um, what do you guys have going on next year? I'm going to Monco. Good. Monco. Good. I'm going to Millersville University. This is great. You guys are all going to be kind of close. You can still hang out when you come back and all that stuff. All right, hey, have a great time tonight. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, I might be seeing you at Texas Roadhouse because I'm supposed to take the night crier staff there for dinner. I just have no idea who's paying for it. So yeah. if anybody wants to step up and pay for the night crier dinner, like you just contact me through email, all right? All right, have fun, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I'm currently with Mrs. Mary Scott and Dr. Marjorie Dieg, who are the class of 2019 assistant principals, class liaisons. An exciting year for the class of 2019, and we're here at the senior prom. What are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to seeing all of our students dressed up so nice and having a good time and just enjoying one of the first of the many next festivities before the end of the school year. The beginning of it all for them, absolutely. Now, Miss Scott, you've been an advisor before. Now you're the class assistant principal. Any words of advice for your current advisors, Mrs. Marino and Mr. Flock, for the end of the year? Lots of coffee, <laughs> lots of sleep. Um, and you know what? Take a moment to take a breath and enjoy the moment because it goes so fast. As a class advisor, I can remember sitting there with my first class in 2011 and graduation hit and the tears just started because it was like, wow, not only are they graduating, but uh, we survived it, you know, so. So this is the first of many senior events to kick off the graduation senior, uh, se season. Uh, what's up next? What are we looking forward to? Looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the reflections night. That's always a night that, like the calm before the hecticness and excitement of um, prom, not prom, graduation day. But that night is when the kids come together and it's very sentimental and emotional. And it's just that last, you know, we're together as a class. So I'm excited for that night. Great. How about you? Reflection to the tearjerker always. But um, there's something about graduation and that we now confirm in the tassel and it's just like a wow the next steps are just so so exciting for our kids well as a current class advisor i cannot tell everybody enough how important the class assistant principal liaisons are to us they do so much work they're so supportive and the class of 2019 is so lucky to have both of you All right, we have some big personalities here right now. All right, and so we're gonna kind of let them do most of the talking. We'll start with Claudia. We'll go right down the line. They're gonna tell us who they are, and the first question is, what are you looking forward to most tonight? I'm Claudia Tham, and I'm looking forward to the ice cream bar. Okay, <laughs> Ryan. I'm Ryan Choppy, and I'm also looking forward to the ice cream bar. Okay. I'm John Bloomer, and I'm looking forward to seeing all my friends. <laughs> Everybody out in the audience is saying, wow, that guy's got some hair on him, right? That's yeah. what they're saying. Yeah. I'm Maureen Bowen. I'm also looking forward to the ice cream bar. All right, Maureen, that's good. You guys are very consistent. Um, Claude, I got a question for you. What's up? Do you know that, like, so I'm doing all these interviews right now by myself because Amy Young is, like, God knows where, like, bouncing around here. But do you know who I used to do the interviews with? No clue. You don't know? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know? She's very important in your life. Miss Rob? 
Yes. Miss Selma Robinson. The lovely Robinson. Selma Robinson. I need you guys to do me a favor. Something that Selma used to like to do in her interviews. By the way, she's not dead or anything. She's just retired, okay? Yeah. Can you guys come in the middle and give me a Selma spin? Just got to spin around and show us your dresses. Oh. It's called the Selma spin. Go ahead. Very nice. Very nice. Would you guys like to do a Selma spin? Go ahead. Very good. All right. Ryan Choppy, you want to say hello to anybody? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. That's it? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, hi, Mom. Can you believe, like, years and years ago, you were, like, this big, and we were doing football game tailgates in the parking lot, and you were running around, and I was, like, throwing you footballs, and now you're graduating? No. It's crazy. To Where do the years go? It's crazy to think that we only got a month left. Oh, I know, a month left. And after that, tell me what you guys are doing next year. I'm going to Westchester. Good. Uh, going to West Virginia. West Virginia, okay. I'm going to Tampa. Tampa, good. I'm going to Auburn. A lot of great options there. You guys have a lot of good things going on. You know who likes West Virginia, by the way? Who? The lovely Linda Law loves uh, West Virginia. You might even good. see her down there sometimes. That would be sweet, time. yeah. That would be. All right, guys, have a great time tonight. Thank you. This is my man, Philip Doppel, okay? Phil was uh, eating dinner with his date and he was gonna go to the restroom, but we had a little, made a little detour here, so if we could do a little interview. Um, I'm gonna just tell you about Phil. One of the best people you'll ever meet at North Penn High School. Just an honest, authentic, hardworking, dedicated guy, uh, destined for great things. All right, so I'm honored to interview you, Phil. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're looking forward to tonight. I'm um, looking forward to having a great time, getting jiggy on the dance floor, you know. Getting jiggy on the dance floor—that's kind yeah. of like an old school kind of saying. That's, that's what you it feel. is. You're an old yeah. soul. Um, how'd you guys get here tonight? Uh, I drove. What did you drive? Uh, Honda Civic. Honda Civic. Good. Very nice. Yeah. You gotta be careful going home on the blue route. You know, yeah. the traffic's a little tough. For sure. I like your flower there. It's good. Nice Thank little you. Accent. Did your girlfriend pick that out for you? Your no. Date? No. Uh, you actually, oh, actually, no. She did pick it out herself. She did. Good. Yeah. Phil, uh, senior year, man. It's almost over. I know. What you think back to your high school years and you're looking forward to the future, you know, what kind of sticks out in your mind in your time in North Penn? Man, I don't know. It's just a rush. And yep. I'm looking like I'm gonna miss everything that happened and miss everybody and goes by fast. Yeah, it does. And what I'm, are you doing next year, Phil? I'm going to James Madison to study graphic design. Fantastic. Yeah. JMU. All right. Yes, sir. Well, Phil, enjoy your time tonight. All right, See thank you. Thank uh, you. Get back to your date before she I will. Your I will. Thank you. All right, we have heard from the lovely Margaret Marino a couple times tonight, but <laughs> she kept sort of telling like John Fluck to go away because she wanted the limelight. I but did. now she's decided to share, to I share the stage. Did. So, John Fluck, you along yeah. with the lovely Margaret Marino are one of the advisors of the senior class, and Correct. you are part of the brains behind the operation tonight. <laughs> so, tell us what you've seen so far tonight here at the prom. Uh, all I can say is I'm, I'm very happy. The hard work we put in with us and our class cabinet, uh, I'm amazed it turned out this well. I'm sure you've seen everyone's dressed up. They look great. The kids are having a great time, and we have a few more hours of this fun. We're just happy. We've seen them since they were little sophomores, and to see them growing up like this, it's awesome. It's That's a great thing here at North Penn that you try to advise the same class for three years. So when you think back like to the last three years at North Penn, what are some of the things as advisors that stand out the most in your time here? Uh, for me, senior prom is always one of the top things. This and graduation. I know Mrs. Yep. Marino is going to cry during graduation, so I'm going to enjoy uh, this. Mrs. Marino cries when the sun <laughs> goes down at night. It's just the way it is. Uh, what about you, Margaret? What, uh, what things have you been looking back at over the last three years? I am just impressed in how mature these, these sophomores and now seniors have become. I mean, it's amazing yep. to watch them grow in our class cab. They take care of everything. They do everything. We just kind of sit back and watch, sure. right? And that's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm looking forward to reflections. That's the night I'm going to cry. Well, look, that's <laughs> one of the nights you're going to cry. I mean, I think you were crying yesterday. I think I, I cried a couple yeah. minutes ago back in there. So. But they want their tears of joy, right? Yes. Tears of joy. Um, yeah, you're right. The kids do change a lot over the years. There's no question about that. I don't need this. I have uh, one. You can uh, hold, you hold it. You hold it. You hold it. Um, all right, so, you know, I want to ask you a million dollar question because I don't know the answer to this yet, so I am kind of putting you on the spot. Okay. Have you guys signed on for another three years? We have, right? We have. Oh, we have. this is big news, <laughs> breaking news. This is not fake news. No. This is breaking news. It's true news. All right, it's true. so you have the energy to do it all over again. Actually, yes. we've learned a lot working together. Yeah. I think we work well together, and we're going to try it again, right? Yes. Say something nice about me. Uh, I'll <laughs> say the last three years with uh, Margaret have been awesome. 
We've really been lucky. We've had great kids. We get a lot of credit, but really the kids we've been working with have done the bulk of the work. Uh, people don't really notice that, but they are here after school. They're working over weekends. We can message them and they get something done. You know where that starts, right? It starts with the leadership. I appreciate well, I that. No that question about credit. it. I gave John that credit because John insisted sophomore year that they work hard and they do. Yeah. And the tables you asked earlier, they did all the work on the tables. Good. So three more years with Margaret. Absolutely. I'm in. <laughs> three more years. Why not make it six more years we'll, or nine we'll more We'll start years. with three like, and then we'll what see. Could you want? He's getting married. He might have a baby. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, is this, is this breaking is news? This breaking news? John Fluck is having a baby. You heard it here first, it's totally true. It's, it's totally true, true, it's true, right, Julia? Okay, all right, well, now that, took a turn. Now, that now, now that things have taken a turn for the worse, yes. okay, no. Look, you guys did a great job. You should be very you. proud of yourselves. Thank Everything you looks great tonight, so go out and enjoy yourself. We are ready to dance. All right, well, we are getting near the end of the interviews tonight, and we always try to save the best for last, okay? And so here we are with rookie principal, first-year principal at North Bend High School, Mr. Pete Nicholson. Mr. Nicholson, what are your impressions of the senior prom so far this year? You know, it's been a great night so far. I think everybody's having a lot of fun. Uh, DJ's playing some great music. Everybody's just enjoying themselves, and it's been a, an awesome night at North Bend. Good. So you have been an assistant principal at the high school for a couple years, a while. Now you're our head principal. What's the difference in terms of like how you see the prom and just your whole overall uh, approach to the prom this year? You know, I didn't honestly see it any differently. Um, you know, it's just great to be here. It's always fun to be at the prom. It's, you know, kind of the, um, you know, just seeing kids be adults and seeing them grow up before your eyes. And, I didn't really feel any differently coming down here tonight. I didn't feel not any yet, not until something happens. And he's got to be in charge all of a sudden. Nothing's right? going to happen. Nothing's <laughs> going to happen uh, because I'm in charge. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, I like that. Uh, I like that. There you that's go. why he's the boss. That's yeah. why he's the boss. Yes. Well, I will tell you this, Mr. Nicholson. You've been outstanding this year in your first year at North Carolina High School, and I think you can go around to any teacher or student who's here, and they will probably say the same thing. Um, Thank you. What? What have you found as, as the principal throughout the course of the year? What have you found to be challenging? What have you found to be most rewarding? You know, it's challenging because, uh, you know, it's just a different demand on your time. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things I've noticed is that, uh, you know, I, I don't get to spend as much time uh, with kids one-on-one, -on -one, which has been, been a little tougher. Um, but when I do get a chance to interact with them, it's been great. Um, you know, for me, it's been really rewarding to, to be at all kinds of events. Not that I wasn't before, um, but it's just great to see kids do great things and, and interact with teachers in a different way and get to solve some problems and, uh, you know, really just, uh, you know, take the lead and be able to, uh, to have fun and mix it up in a different way. You know you have a drink named after you tonight? I saw that. I saw that. It's actually very good. Have you, you tried it? I'm about to right now. Okay. Have I'm you tried little, it, Mrs. Young? I'm getting a little I haven't tried it either. I've had yeah. a diet soda so it. far, but I am interested in this drink. You got to try it. Diet good. soda is not good for you. I'm really? looking out for you. We're friends. We're we co-hosts. We I'm are. looking out for you. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Nicholson, the year is almost over. All right. There's a few big things left, though. All right. So what's still coming up before we can say adios for the summer? There's a lot coming up before we say adios for the summer. Uh, it's all great stuff. It's all a lot of fun. Um, my favorite part of what's coming up, other than obviously commencement, but my other favorite night of the year is uh, class night. Love going to class night, seeing everybody uh, just be kids one last mm -hmm. time before, before commencement happens. They all graduate and move on. And just being able to, to play can jam and be okay. out there and then see the senior class video, uh, which have is always you, a highlight um, of that night. Have you started writing your commencement address yet? I have not. I have not. I have uh, plenty of time uh, between school and events at night over the coming month to, uh, okay. to rate that. I, I've, I have some ideas. Okay. I have some things in mind, but I have not uh, put pen to paper, as they would say. What do you think, Amy? I think it's going to be a fantastic prom tonight. I do have to say, as an advisor, uh, these events could not be done without the support of administration. And Mr. Nicholson has been so great this year. We do appreciate that. And I'm speaking on behalf of all six of us. So, well, and it couldn't you. be done without the advisors either. Oh, well, either so, please. thank you. All right, well, and of hey, course, without you here interviewing me, it would not be the same, Mr. Minero. No, it would just be somebody else standing here. So, it wouldn't well, be that's true, but it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> would it be the well, same? Would it be the same? <laughs> all right, well, enjoy the rest of the night. All right, you as well. Thank you. Well, 
Amy, here we are again. It's the end of the senior prom. What a night it's been. I know. Another year. It's crazy to think how many years we've been coming to Drexel Brook, and it's yep. just, every year's different. Every year's so fun. Every year's different, but yet, there are some very common traditions that happen every year, and some of those traditions are that we have the same people that watch this show religiously we every year. And we, we should probably recognize some of them. We have so a little we... following, which is yeah. kind of exciting. Who would you like to talk about first? I would like to give a special shout out first to our good friends, Bev and Tom McGuire. Yes. Uh, they're great friends of both of ours, and yep. they watch the show every year. So this is for you guys, Bev and Tom. Do you know what I think Bev and Tom should do since we talked about them tonight? They should buy us dinner one night this summer. I would love that. Maybe Stove and Tap, something like that. We'll check it out. There's a couple places uh, I like yeah. to go, so yeah. yeah. I'd like to say hello to um, my neighbors, Dick and Gladys Ditzler. Um, Dick and Gladys are like the greatest people ever, and I know that they're watching because they always watch. Um, but they're awesome, and of course, of course, of course, wouldn't be the same if I didn't say hello to my friends Jimmy and Debbie Rittenhouse. It Debbie would... Rittenhouse is the, known as the speedster of North Wales. She pedaled to the metal right through town. She has to watch out though because uh, you know Roscoe P. Coltrane might pull her over or something like that. She's not careful. It would not be a yep. problem if we did not recognize no. the Rittenhouse family. No, for it sure, be. for sure. All right, so Amy, you are um, you know you've been in a lot of proms. Yep. Um, you've been advisors and things like that. So yes. how does this prom stack up? Do you think to the ones you've seen before? So, this prom is exciting because Drexel Brook recently went under renovation. So this is our first year here since they redid the entire place. The ballroom is beautiful. The DJ's got some really cool, exciting things that you guys saw earlier in the show. Yep. So every year you just try and make it a little more special than the year before. So it's been great. Yep, and it's you know we're winding down the school year here. We have reflections, graduation, all kinds yep. of stuff, class night, all these things coming up, but nothing like a senior prom. No. It's a magical no. night. Agree, agree. Well, it's been a great night here at Drexel Brook. So as we say every year, we hope you've enjoyed. If you're watching out there tonight from Rosemary Way to Rampart Lane, from Lager Lane to Linden Lane, from Church Street to Birch Street, welcome once again. And we hope you had a great time tonight here at the Senior Prom. Kick up, relax, enjoy the rest of the summer ahead. Yep. And we will see you back here once again next year for another great show. There we go, class of 2020. You ready? Yeah, one sec. He's, he's texting. He's got, he's he's got to check in. He's, he's got, got to check in. Business. Four, three, two, one, zero. The number of games that NPTV has been to for North Penn baseball, zero. Did you see my eyelashes? Don't they look good? Ooh. We have another party van arriving tonight, and maybe not. You know I'm rolling, right? Oh, we are? Bob! <laughs> All this talk, talking, ah, sorry. Try All that this... one again. Okay. Alright. Hold on, just, I gotta, I'm thinking of a couple things. Class of, what are they, 2019? Yeah, that's it. <sighs> what do you feel? Are you feeling it? Um, are you ready? Except for what? Are you in the background? I'm ready. Remember that year that whoever, <laughs> do, yeah, we're filming, well. Okay. Jimmy Fair, take a picture of me and Eric so I can send it to uh, Jimmy Rittenhouse. I pretend like I'm interviewing. Jimmy, you don't have to know who Jimmy Rittenhouse is. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. All right, as, as we wrap things up. I think I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, good. Yes. Dom? Oh my god. <laughs> For the first time in the history of the prom show, I threw the microphone. Mic drop. Alright, Dom, what are you doing next year? Did you get a picture in here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, okay. I'm famous. Right, right, got it. <laughs>
<laughs> so the doors have officially opened to the ballroom here at Drexel Brock. There's a group of kids I know over there. And I think most of them are going in that <laughs> We'll go that door. Yes. I'm not busy or anything here. Beep, beep. I'd like the last five minutes of my life back. Beep, beep. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo.